Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a vlog and I wanted to vlog today because I feel like I'm doing like so much reseller things like well obviously that's like what I do for a living but I mean like so much of the reseller process is happening today like I'm doing shipping, I am um, listing, I'm prepping new inventory all the way from the thrift store bags to inventorying it into my system. So I just thought it'd be a good day to film because we're getting a lot of work done. No fun things like sourcing, but everything else is still fun, right? Sourcing's not like the only fun thing we do. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it is the morning. It's 8.40 a.m. I just, I really like to start work at 9 a.m. So I'm just going to get ready and we're going to start our day. <music> We are ready to start the work day outfit of the day although it's really not even that cute today we just got on like some shorts actually these were in my thread up rescue box that I just filmed they were like the wallflower shorts and I have this cute thing that I had listed for a year that never sold so I was like hmm I'll just take that and of course fuzzy boots the aftermath of my haul video yesterday oh my god sorry um yesterday uh was Sunday so I went to Goodwill and I went to another store on Saturday which was kind of impromptu I found a thousand dollar dress so that was exciting I just filmed the haul for all that stuff it's right there um took a thumbnail and we're gonna start like the actual work day because like YouTube is fun I love it but it's not like work because I don't get paid for it I just do it because it's like fun I really just want to start the day off listing so the thing I dread the most so I just want to get that out of the way so we're gonna go outside and list I don't want to list indoors I like to go on my patio and um just get some work done and outside I'm ready to start listing um I'm actually I haven't even talked about it but I am so happy Poshmark um changed their title to now 80 characters which is the same as eBay and Mercari recently changed theirs too which is going to make cross listing 10 times easier because you don't have to edit the title every time you do it you could just keep the same title which I love but yeah I'm just working outside today it's pretty hot but I like to work outside as much as possible like whenever I can because the bunnies let me try to find them are they under here? There they are, the bunnies. I love to get them out of their pen as much as I possibly can. So, and I like them to be in the outdoors. So we're just sitting out here. I have breakfast here, which is a pumpkin muffin. I actually already drank my coffee this morning. I came out here at like 6.30 this morning so I could read until I had to make breakfast at 7.30. So yeah, this is what the next hour, two hours looks like. We'll see because it is super hot out today. listing so it is now lunch time of the day I'm gonna make these Trader Joe's turkey corn dogs I feel like if anything the more I start vlogging the more people are gonna realize like I eat like a five-year-old um, because I'm a super picky eater and also an extremely lazy eater or not lazy eater but I'm a lazy cook and a picky eater so this is what we're eating. I'm not even trying to be healthy with the whole turkey corn dog thing. I just couldn't find regular corn dogs at Trader Joe's, you know? So I just got the turkey ones, but we'll see how they are. So it is finally the time to process all these clothes. We did our listing, our cross listing, had our lunch. And I do have to ship. Oh my god, it's so nice having my inventory here. After having it in a storage unit, oh my god, it's just so nice to have it on my wall. I just pack it, ship, do everything right in one room. Oh my god, it's a blessing. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, we're gonna do shipping at around three. So I have about two hours to get all this stuff prepped and hung. I think in two hours I could at least have it steamed. Hopefully even photographed. That would be a miracle. I don't have too much here so it shouldn't be too long but um, all this stuff was just if, if just shown in a recent haul and I'll have that link somewhere here if you guys want to go check it out. But first I wanted to show you guys the audiobook I'm listening to while I work today because oh my god it is just I'm almost done with it. I have an hour and 25 minutes left. It's actually a little sooner than that because I listened to it on like 1.5 speed. But, oh my god, you guys. It's so good. It's not over yet, but I can already tell you it's a five-star book. It's so good. I highly recommend it. 
This is the book. It's called Bee Tree by Emily Henry. You might have heard of her because she also um, wrote the book The People We Meet on Vacation. And I know her next book is going to be called Book Lovers, I think it's called. If, if that's wrong, I'll like leave a correction with the actual title of it here. I don't know what the release date of it is, but oh my god. I This is the first book I ever read by her. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I cannot wait to read The People We Meet on Vacation. I'm definitely going to be listening to that soon. Um... And then obviously for her new release because she captured me. I am Hook. I am here. I am a stan. And I highly recommend. This is like um, the genre of this because I read a lot of YA, which is young adult, but this is adult romance. So if you're looking for a good read that's actually in the adult genre because I feel like most of my recommendations are YA than this one right here. But honestly, this was such a big book. You probably already heard of it and you know, read it, but highly recommend. found multiple like small stains and spots on this dress which is really sad like there's one of them but there's like multiple like if it was just the one I would list it but there's a lot and it's really sad because it is so pretty I mean I know like this isn't the prettiest lighting but like the embroidery the sequins on it <sighs> and back to the thrift store it goes Okay, so I prepped everything, hung it, steamed it, photographed, and packaged it, and finished my audiobook. So I would say it's been pretty productive, although I am sad that I finished my audiobook. It was amazing, okay? Why am I like, okay, let, let, me, let me flip around this way so the light's not like that. Okay, um, I finished it. I said before I finished it, five out of five, I would totally recommend it. And I stick by that. It's five out of five stars. Totally recommend it. Um, yeah, I think it is a great book. And it's weird because I'm 23. So I feel like um, I, I can still relate to a lot of like YA books, like young adult books. But then also like adult books I also really appreciate. So I'm like in this like beautiful age where I could just kind of read both and like connect to both of them, which is cool. But yeah, it's an adult um, romance book. So if that is your genre, recommend Be Treated by Emily Henry. And, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna, like, get my shipping together, and I think that's pretty much the end of the day, because tomorrow I'm going to the bins, and then, you know, I'll have a whole, the next day I'm gonna be processing those clothes, and I'm gonna go to the thrift store the next day, and then I'm gonna process those clothes the next day, you know, it just keeps happening, it's just like a cycle, you know? The real question is, now that I finished this audiobook, what do I listen to? You know, that's the real question. Honestly, though, okay, so this is, okay. Audible, when you sign up for Audible, like the only plan it really tells you about is $14.95 a month and you get one credit a month and you use that to buy an audiobook. So it's like $15, you're buying one audiobook a month essentially. And like one a month, like I work from home, I listen to so many audiobooks and I'm just like, there has to be a way, like there has to be some sort of subscription where I can get, like not even just through Audible, through anybody, where I could just get like unlimited audiobooks for like a set in price a month kind of like apple music your spotify you set like a set price and you know you get on this unlimited music and then i was doing some research and apparently on audible if you pay eight dollars a month which is half the price i am paying right now you get unlimited audiobooks you just don't own any of them and it's like well i obviously i rather do that because i don't really care to own my audiobooks except i'm happy i own daisy jones and the six because that was a really good one but like if i love the book and i give it five stars like beach read then i just go out and buy the physical copy from my bookshelf like i don't need to own the audiobook so if you are interested in audible audible um yeah that would be my advice to you do the eight dollar plan that they do not advertise at all and get unlimited audiobooks i just switched over to that one and it doesn't take effect till october 18th so i have th three three audiobooks in my library right now in three weeks <laughs> till my new plan kicks in so i'm trying to listen to them slowly so you know Kate Spade sunglasses, Doc Martens, new tags, vegan edition, Jams rolled pants, one state, 
black velvet top, Refuge jean shorts, LuLaRoe, new with tags dress, American Eagle, gray jeans, Talbot's, navy pants, Chico's Travelers, black pants, Athleta, black cardigan, Max Studio, blue casual sweater, Pride Productions, vintage cat jacket, Express midi dress, Bowden, green floral top, Free People, tan shirt, Chico's, houndstooth pants, Tiger, new with tags, men's pants, <laughs> Chico's zebra jacket that came out of the packaging, Chico's black and white striped top, Gretchen Scott, new with tags pants, Hawaiian pizza apparel, Hawaiian, not Hawaiian, pizza apparel, haunted mansion leggings, loft gray plaid pants, wild fable skirt, vintage Saks Fifth Avenue a beaded maxi dress. So I'm at the post office and I'm here like 15 minutes before they close so I have a little bit of time but um I totally forgot to get real shoes and I'm literally wearing slippers like my slippers here that's that's just how we're walking into the post office right now so I'm a bit embarrassed but like why not share since like we're vlogging today right oh my god Okay, everybody, the work day is complete. We started it at 9 a.m. It is 5.20 p.m., so that's like a solid work day, 9 to 5. And now it's time for me to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna make for dinner. Cause you know, I'll actually, I just need to figure out what I wanna cook so I can like get the stuff out to de-thaw it. But yeah, that's my plan, dinner reading wait for my boyfriend to come home which he should be getting off soon so anyways that's that maybe i'll check in with you guys again maybe i won't we shall see this might just be the end of it since it's the end of my work day but if this is the end and i don't film any of my personal life then goodbye thank you for watching and if i continue to film well then i'll just cut this part out but uh yeah thank you for watching subscribe like comment down below and I will see you guys in another video. Also, thanks for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun. Okay, bye.